This question says that A and B are independent. Let's stop right there. When two events are independent, then mathematically you can say that a, P of A and B is equal to P of A multiplied by P of B. This is called the formula for independence. Okay, what? Well, I made that sound more fancy than it is. This is just the independence formula, okay? It's the formula you use when things are independent. Um, so that's important to understand. And then they give us P A, P B, Okay, so whenever they give you all of these numbers and all of this blah, blah, blah stuff, you need to use the main probability formula that was taught to us in grade 11, which let's go have a look at the formula sheet. I'll show you which one I'm talking about. Here we are on our formula sheet, and it is this formula over here. It is the most fundamental formula in probability. It is very important. So let's go write that one down. So P of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. The next thing is that if we know that two events are independent, which they've just told us, we can use this formula, which says that P of A and B can be rewritten as this. So on the next line, I'm going to replace this with P of A multiplied by P of B. Okay, now we just go fill in and have fun with this thing. So P of A or B is 0 0.88. P of A is 0 0.4. P of B is what we're trying to calculate. And then here it's P of A again, which is 0 0.4. P of B is what we're trying to calculate. And there we go. So let's just write this a little bit better. Okay, so now we're just going to solve for P of B. So we can take this 0 0.4 over, so it becomes 0 0.88 take away 0 0.4. Here we have 1 P of B, and here we have 0 0.4 P of B. So we're going to say 1 PB take away 0 0.4 PB. And so you're going to end up with 0 0.48 on this side and 0 0.6 on this side. And so if you had to divide both sides by 0 0.6, you're going to end up with uh, 0 0.48 over 0 0.6. And that would be a final answer of 0 0.8.